Tell me when to clap. No, not yet. I'll tell you when, okay? Give me for a second. Give me a little clappity clap clap. Bang bang. Nope. I Just lied. Clap. I lied. I gotta turn the mic on first. Bang bang. Yay. Sweet. Wow, we did it. We, we did. did it. We're good to go. We're yeah, rolling. We are good to go. Okay, sweet. And sweet. we're off. I'm Sean, currently living in Kelowna. Just Ask Dad, subscribe to Just Ask Dad. There should be a link somewhere, depending, I don't know which camera we're going off of. I'm not even gonna do the point thing. You guys, you're a smart bunch, clearly. You're already watching us. Da down below, push the subscribe button, do it now. We are driving a 2017 Jeep Wrangler. A JK. So this is the older model, and by older, like, well, yeah, it kind of is, to be honest with you. If you look around at the interior, this is a Sahara, basically fully loaded with bells and whistles as they come. Um, but what that means is that the Wranglers, and it's a Wrangler Unlimited, which is cheap speak for four-door. Uh, it is, it's got all the bells and whistles inside. Leather seats, heated seats, navigation, touchscreen, DVD player behind the touchscreen. Can you just take a moment to address the navigation on a Jeep? So everybody has a phone these days, right? We're all using Google Maps. How does that compare to a navigation in a Jeep Wrangler? Do you want my honest opinion or we, am I we still want working your for Dodge? Pretend you don't work for a dealership right now and, and tell us the difference between the navigation on your phone and the navigation on a Jeep. The navigation in any vehicle fucking sucks. You have to update it by actually paying usually six to 800 bucks to get the new map installed. Or just connect your phone to the Bluetooth and have it speak to you directly. In the new JLs that are coming out, the 8.4 touchscreen will include Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which this is, is pretty true. sweet. This is true. It, now, it almost removes the need for a GPS at all. I would say if there's one thing, if you want to save a little bit of money on your new Jeep, don't get the nav. Just use your phone. By use your phone, I mean sync your phone to the system, pull over to the side of the road, figure out where it is you want to go, phone away, and just have it speak to you through your stereo system. Do you prefer driving a manual or a automatic? Manual. Typically, it's always, for me, an option of manual, but especially in the Jeeps. And the reason for that, you know, they're, they haven't really had a facelift since 2012, which is why it still has the 6.5 inch touchscreen. It needs a facelift. And the biggest thing that it's lacking is your automatic transmission. The JLs coming soon in 2018 have the eight speed transmission that we've got in the trucks and in the chargers and in the challengers. I love that transmission. Yeah. It shifts super fast. And if you like to drive fast, like some of us in the car do, I don't know who I'd be I'm talking about myself. Yeah. It actually shifts faster than any manual transmission. And it has the throttle mapping technology, which I've talked about before, where it actually learns your throttle habits. I know it sounds like I'm just bad mouthing the shit out of this particular JK. I'm not. It's a great vehicle. It's awesome. It's got every bell and whistle you need. Because it's a Sahara, it does have the 3.7 rear axle ratio, which makes it capable of actually towing. You can hear the 3.6 liter working right now, getting uphill, but that's also because I'm, I'm stepping on the gas pedal quite a bit. If you are in the market for a Wrangler, especially a new one right now, I would highly suggest, unless you are completely sold on spending a few thousand dollars more on a JL when they drop, go pick up a JK. Uh, they're a lot of fun. They're still like the blank canvas Wranglers. You can customize the shit out of them until you run out of aftermarket accessories. It's basically like Lego. You can piece together a million different things on a Jeep, right? Totally. You can, it's, yeah, you can figure out exactly how you want it to look, ride, feel, and just go from there. Chrysler is doing a weird thing. What they've decided is that they are actually going to keep making JKs into the first half of 2018. So we're going to keep getting these older style Wranglers coming onto lots uh, probably until sometime in the middle and then it's going to transition to the JLs. When that transition happens, dealers are going to be stuck with JKs because the JLs are the new sexy unit. Think about going with a JK simply for more bang for your buck. Dealers are going to be highly motivated to try and get these off their lot once the JLs, even just once the JLs just get close to coming guys are gonna start getting skittish and wanna unload 
additional inventory. Right. Um, so like I was thinking about that, getting a Jeep and like obviously I, the JL to me looks amazing, but at the same time, maybe it's a little bit more wiser to stick with the 17. You'll have 18 JLs and 18 JKs, so, which is not going to get confusing at all for people trying to use Chrysler's online ordering system. Right. And, and that's the thing, right? So I think you're right. Like the, the next best investment right now, if you want a Jeep, is not to go with the JLs unless you have the money to do so. Yeah. But uh, like these Jeeps are great the way they are, right? And guys, to be honest, like if you're sitting around waiting for when a Jeep Wrangler goes on rebate or for when they offer 0% over 84 months on a Jeep Wrangler, don't. It's never going to happen. 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 I don't think it's ever happened. It's never going to happen. It just it doesn't happen. I've been with Dodge for almost three years now, and uh, Dodge Jeep, Ram, Chrysler, whatever you want to call the company. And uh, yeah, they're like Wranglers don't really have rebates. There's going to come a time, probably in the next six months to a year, that dealerships are going to want to start unloading these JKs, right. and they still are just awesome. Okay, so you've driven a ton of vehicles before. You've yep. driven all the Chrysler lineup, mm -hmm. the Jeep lineup, the Ram lineup. Mm -hmm. In an off-road vehicle that can also be your daily driver, mm -hmm. what would you rate a Jeep Wrangler out of five? I know that's a hard question. That's a really like, hard question. Just, just for the folks at home, if you were getting an SUV, yeah. if you were in the market for an SUV, how likely are you to get a Jeep Wrangler out of all the options for an SUV? Well, if I'm like gonna be hauling kids around or mostly doing city driving, then I'd probably go with a Grand Cherokee, to be honest with you, right. out of all the other SUVs. But if I wanted something that's actually fun, that you wanna live in, that will increase your quality of life in a vehicle, which is kinda why we have vehicles in the first right. place, Wrangler, 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 five out of five, absolutely. Yeah. There are two vehicles that I know of where drivers who are driving the same vehicle actually like acknowledge each other. One are people on bikes who always wave as they go by. The other is Wranglers. There's a Wrangler wave. Wrangler drivers are a bunch of nerds. Just no, I'm kidding. Wrangler drivers aren't a bunch of nerds. People are always like, oh yeah, I gotta, gotta find a used vehicle because I don't want to pay for that depreciation. A Wrangler will depreciate, but compared to every other vehicle on the market, it doesn't even come close. If you're looking for something that's actually gonna be a bit of an investment and that you're gonna drive for a really long time, like unless you find a gem and you're gonna put a whack of money down when you're financing, I would say just go new. Everyone that owns a Wrangler typically drives it for about as long as they possibly can. If it becomes to the point where like, you know, your family's growing, whatever it is, you need seven seats. Usually the Wrangler stays in the family and it just finds a home in the garage somewhere. You get lower rates with a new one if you're gonna finance any of it at all. And as you've heard me rant, rant and rave before, put some money down. Like when you buy any vehicle through financing, just put enough down to cover the taxes then you can get out of it easily. And I know there's probably gonna be some salesmen out there who are like, oh, you shouldn't say that. It's gonna, you know, people who don't have money down aren't gonna to wanna to finance. No, it's not, it's, that's not the reason at all. Because if you put a little money down, it'll be so much easier if you need to trade a vehicle in, to trade a vehicle in in an equity position because you put some money down and because hopefully you didn't go you know, no money down, 96 month term, which someone in the vehicle but, but did. But Sean, the, the, it's so much cheaper. My monthly payments are lower. I know, and now you end up stuck $10,000 backwards in a Chrysler 200S that you don't really need. Don't get me wrong, love driving it, great vehicle. Just don't need it, don't need it right now. Guys, if you're buying a vehicle and the monthly numbers, the monthly payment doesn't work for you, don't keep trying to push for lower payments by extending your term. You're you going can. To, no, you're like, going to screw yourself. I. You can, but just don't go to the point where it's, if you have to go no money down 96 months to make a payment fit where you need to be, either reevaluate what your payment actually should be, uh, or just like come to grips with that, hey, maybe uh, an SRT is not in the cards right now. Maybe you need to go with something replace that R with an X, right? Well, and that's Go the, thing, the SXT. Understand what the value of the vehicle is that you want to buy. Know how much it really costs because we can't make miracles happen at the dealership as much as we'd love to. It's just, guys, oh, sometimes I the price is the price of the every price, day. Right? <laughs> what kind of miracles? Mm, mostly I turn everything into wine. 
I'm Sean with Just Ask Dad. We are driving the 2017 Wrangler JK. Absolutely love it. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that button down below. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in.